increase of hate, had an increase of, of negative energy from people. But I want you to understand, that's God saying, I've got something different for you. And sometimes people see things in you that, they don't, that you don't see in yourself. And they see things in you that they don't see in their own self. And it pissed them off. But I dare you to believe ain't nothing you can do about it. It ain't nothing they can do about it. You just are who you are. You just have been called according to the purpose of God. You have just been bought with a price. And it is just your time. How many people believe that? It's just my time. I, I, I dare you to say it. It's just my time. I say this one. I can't make no apologies. I can't make no excuses. It's just my time. I can't. It's just, it's just your time. You know, it's your, and when it's your time, it's your, it's just your time. When it's your time, things click. When it's your time, things happen. So we've got to move ourselves in position. Oh, some of you things are coming to a head right now in your life. You don't understand how in the world I, everything is dropping on me right now. Because God is saying, I've got to bring certain things to closure. Because I can't allow you to take this sin in the 2011. I can't let you take this struggle in the 2011. So I got to pop you in your face and let you see if you take it to the next year, it'll multiply. If you take the wrong thing into the new year, it'll fly. If you take the wrong thing in the next year, it will develop. But if you start a thing right, it'll end right. If you start a house on a good foundation, when the storms rage and when the winds blow, it'll keep standing. Is there anybody in here that want to keep standing? You don't want to do good for five years and go back to being broke. You don't want to be happy for two years and go back to being sad. You don't want to be married for three years and go back to being divorced. But this house that you're building now is going to be on a solid. So I've got to go into 2011. Young man, check me out. Not getting ready, though. But being ready. Not getting ready. No, no fighter goes into a fight. I like UFC. Nobody go in saying, when I get in the ring, I'm going to get ready. Because they know if I ain't ready when I get in the ring, it's going to beat me down. If you ain't ready to win 2011, come in, it'll beat you down. But if you're ready, you're going to... Need, I need about 100 men right now who ain't scared to stand to your feet and just give God a clap right now. Just stand to your feet and give God a praise. I need 100 men. I need a Make it 200. I need y'all just to jump to your feet and give God a praise. All right, have a seat. Have a seat. Woo! Listen to me, man. Every man, write a vision for your family. When New Year's Eve service come in, we're going to take a vision, get balloons. I want you to write in that thing. I want you to write a vision. I'm going to be a better husband. I'm coming out of temptation. I'm coming out of lust. I'm, 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 I'm being prosperous. I'm going to be a better father. I'm going to do better. I'm going My business going to work this year. Whatever it is, I want you to write the vision down. I'll make a hundred more thousand dollars a year. I'll get a bonus. I'll, I'll get a better car. I'm going to have a better house for my family. I may want a pool. Whatever it is, write it in the vision. And when New Year's service comes, we're going to put it in the balloons and we're going to let it fly. God first. It's something about when a man pray. It's something oh, I know some people may want to be chauvinist. Say what you want to say. If I am maybe that's what I am. But there's something about when a man lines up with God. It's something about when a man makes a declaration over his house. And when a man makes a declaration over his family and say I am everything God's called me to be. I will do what God called me to do. I will go where God called me to go. And though he slay me yet will I trust him because he's my father Father, he's going to give me grace. What is grace? Whatever I need, when I need it. See, if I can't have everything God promised me to have, I don't want none of it. I know some of y'all, that's too deep for y'all. Y'all can't handle that. All of it. All of it. Not some of all the promise. So, do, I have, do I have anybody with me that don't want some of the promise? Let me, let me tell you what some of the promise is. Some of the promise is... 365 days in a year, right? 100, you happy. And the rest, you miserable. I'm not saying you don't have problems, but I'm talking about 100 days out of the year, you happy, and the rest, life is terrible. Let's say you live to be 100 years old. You have 25 years in 100 to be happy. And the rest, miserable. I don't want some of it. I want all of it. It's like being Sometimes. 
happy all the time. Now, don't, don't get crazy with me and say, don't think life is not life. We're all intelligent intellectuals. Now, we know that's different, but I'm talking about miserable living beneath your privilege. If I'm supposed to be a millionaire, I don't want to be a $100,000 heir. And I ain't going to stop till I get all the promise. You mean the land where everybody dying of sickness, everybody dying of all kinds of diseases, but these people are going to have long, prosperous life. He, you mean to tell me God want me to have this? Yeah. To the point that he get ticked off? Yes. He says, Moses, how long are these people going to reject me? I'm telling them they're blessed. I want them to be blessed. I want them to go to the promise, and they refuse. These people are happy going around and around and around. We are not a regular church. You are not regular Christians, and I'm sure not a regular pastor. I want it all, or I don't want none of it. Moses had to deal with people who said, we're grasshoppers in their sight. But Joshua had people that said, I got the giant syndrome. They grasshoppers, we giants. And either you going to get down, or you going to... I'm going in the enemy's camp and I'm taking everything he stole and because you took it, I want interest. I'm taking my stuff. I'm taking my homie stuff too. If I was a gangster in the street, I wouldn't be taking no sides. I ain't asking you. I ain't asking your permission. I'm not giving you no time. You're going to have to make a choice now. Either you going to get down or you going to let... There are some things God has promised me in 2010, and I ain't leaving the year till I get it in my hand. <laughs> and when 2011 come in, it's already mine. Slap somebody next to you and tell them it's already mine. Already mine. You need to start understanding that perception is everything. You need to view yourself a certain way and you'll attract something else. I ain't looking at myself like I got to be poor. I need to be wealthy. I need to look wealthy. I need to dress. And this wealth will come to me. If I think I'm weak, I'll be weak. People see you how you see yourself. The devil see you how you see yourself. God, I can't touch Job. You got a hedge around him. And before God took the hedge, Job was saying, devil, you can't touch me. All the previous years, while the devil was going to and fro, looking for somebody to mess with, Job was saying, you better skip me because God got a hedge. The devil saw Job like Job saw himself. Somebody say one word. It's all I need to shift my whole situation. Let, Just let one something. word. Listen, Forrest Gump said this, life like a box of chocolates. Let me tell you something. You never know what you're going to get. I got, I got to ask you, Boris. Let me wipe my forehead. And get ready for this one, Mr. Gump. I'm just going to eat them all. <laughs> I'm going to drink the whole cup. Naked I came in, naked I leave. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. No weapon that's formed against me. Shit. I'm just going to eat them all, Forrest. I'm just going to eat them all. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going. I'm blessed coming. I'm going to just eat them all. Look at somebody say, just eat them all. You ain't going to have me scared of no chocolates. Eat them all. 